Welcome to Mix Tickle Part 2. Today I'm going to be covering importing and exporting loops, mixing down and sequencing. This graphic illustrates all the ways you can import and export audio with Mix Tickle. So we'll be starting with the importing and then moving on to exporting later in the tutorial. If you have a library of loops on your desktop, you can import them into Mixtickle using iTunes. You'll want to do that from the Apps tab and select Mixtickle down at the bottom. From there you can do Add and then select your files from the pop-up menu. Next step, you'll have to click on the Import Files via iTunes from the Import menu within your Mixtickle app. It takes a few minutes for the files to copy once Mixtickle imports your files, you can load them up in a cell from the content menu. If you scroll through your user content, you should see all the files that you imported in from iTunes. Select a file and load up the loop within the cell. Mixtickle also has the ability to paste other audio files into the application from compliant apps via pasteboard or audio copy. Once you choose a file to paste in, you have the opportunity to name the file. Now set the tempo and the key for the audio clip. Once you're done, the file should load up in the cell. Mixtickle will adjust your loops to match key changes and tempo changes. When you're sequencing with loops, you can set the number of repeats from within the cell properties menu. All the black dots indicate cells with repeats. I've muted these cells so that they won't play. I've also added a rest here to help with the timing of the bass line so that it will come in on the second measure. Click the record button to do a mix down. You can change the settings on the mix down, including the number of bars, the quality of the file, the format, and the name. Once you're done with the settings, you can either do a mix down or you can do a live recording by clicking the orange button. We'll do a mix down. It can take a few seconds for the mix down to generate. You can also do a export using audio copy or pasteboard and use the audio within another application. You'll get a list of compatible applications and if you click on one of those it'll open the audio file within that app. Now we're ready to do an export to iTunes. There's a lot of different options for exporting. You can do through Twitter or email, post to a f the forum or to a web page. Those all require a compatible Mixtickle plugin that's only available if you have the desktop version of Mixtickle. Exporting via the local network also only works with the desktop version of Mixtickle. The easiest way to save your files to your desktop is going to be via iTunes. From within the Apps tab, you'll select the Intermorphic folder and then click on Save To. You'll then be prompted to specify the location you want to save the Intermorphic folder. All of your mix downs will reside under the Recordings folder. Well, I hope you enjoyed this series of tutorials on Mixed Tickle. Be sure to come back soon for more tutorials. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.